Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We're working more on my RPG Maker project. <clears throat> and as I somewhat promised I would do, I don't know if I promised to do it or not. I did go ahead and redo the bottom apartment. It's not done yet. But in my opinion, this layout looks better than the one next to it. It's not perfect. And I mean, honestly, nothing will be perfect from what, for what I do in this game. And that's okay. But in my opinion, this does look better than over here. So I'm going to keep it. I'm going to finish editing it on, on you know, recording or on camera, whatever the correct term is. I don't know the YouTube lingo. I'm still learning. And I noticed that I'm at 50 subscribers. Thank you for those who have subscribed. It means a lot. I hope you guys are enjoying the content. And I look forward to releasing more content and growing my channel with you as well. If you have any suggestions for games that you want to see me play, let me know. However, there are some games or certain genres that I will not touch. I have my reasons behind those. Well, behind it. So if, if it is a game that falls under that category, I will kindly let you know and I will ask you to choose something else and yeah or if you have any ideas or suggestions for my game I will gladly take those as well I do not mind and I will do what I can to put those in within the engines limited eventing methods which is over here this is the limited eventing methods. I do not know how to code JavaScript or how to code anything at all, unfortunately. So I'm going based on the original motto that you can make a game with RPG Maker without coding. That was their original motto. They still stick to it, which is wonderful because I have seeing that they are making or releasing a new maker project and that is their same motto that you can make a game without coding which is wonderful we need more stuff like that because having to go to school to get a job in this field to learn code when those jobs are all filled up kinda sucks because then you're in debt forever Yay! But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and finish this for you. I will then copy pasta. Oh, this apartment over to here a couple of times. And then I will move on to the church. And the church, for over on this side, it is more than likely done being blueprinted. I might blueprint it some more, who knows. But as for the worshipping side, where everyone goes to worship to, you know, the multiple gods, I might blueprint it to where it has different rooms for the worshipping for the different gods, instead of this being one big giant room. Because <clears throat> it kind of makes sense, there are, there's going to be multiple gods in my game. The question is, how many do I want? I have not really decided on that yet. So, yeah. There is, mm, I'm not going to say anything more on that, because that might spoil something. That might spoil, and I don't want to spoil, unless I have already. 
I don't remember if I have. And I'm too lazy to go back through my content. He's has like 80 videos of content already, so. No thanks. <laughs> no thanks. I'd rather not do that and falsify my own watch hours. No thanks, YouTube. In my opinion, for YouTube, if me, the channel owner, watches my own content, it should not count towards my stuff. At all. It shouldn't. Because then, as it is now, I can sit here and watch all my content and falsify my watch hours. I mean, that sounds great and all, but that shouldn't be allowed. Unless it's not allowed already. I don't know. However, before, on that, on that subject, I do have, if it loads, of course. Fuck you too, YouTube. Fix your shit, please. Thank you. I do have more videos drafted. I have started playing more Divinity Original Sin 2. And I do have Baldur's Gate as well. I honestly have no idea what the hell I'm doing in Baldur's Gate. It's my first time playing Baldur's Gate anything. And my second time playing a D&D &D game. Um, I'm going in. If I screw up, I don't care. I have Kingdom Hearts as well. Drafted. I have more RuneScape. More Kingdom Hearts. And yeah, I mean, I have plenty of content. I just need to get around to putting it out there for you guys. I'm also playing more Greedfall as well. With the new... I don't know if it will work for us or not. It does, actually. This is not supported for reasons. Because there's no point. But I'm playing Greedfall with the new NVIDIA app. So it's going to look like... It's going to look better, but also... Adds like a, a fuzziness or like a staticky look to some things or most things because I think the app is still in beta. So, I mean, sacrifice some things to make other things look better texture wise. I mean, sure, I don't mind, and there's really no way to fix it with these options. I've tried, <laughs> unless you turn it off and make the game look like when it first came out on console, which, I mean, I could, I don't mind, but if I can utilize the new NVIDIA filters to make the game look 10 times better, why not? At the expense of having a, a fuzzy and staticky whateverness on certain things. I mean, I don't mind. I did it for Fallout 4 as well, and I couldn't fix it. So, I do apologize for for that on Fallout 4 videos going forward. And Fallout 4 is done. I released all the videos are scheduled. The game is now uninstalled. That's 100 gigs on my heart. My, huh, my hard drive. Huh, my SSD is back for 100 gigs. I did not do the DLCs. I really don't care. I did the, um, well, you have to see which one I did. I'm not going to spoil. But yeah, let's just, you know, jump into this. And if you enjoy the content, you all know what to do. I'm not going to say it. You all know what to do. I'm not going to, you know, do the whole spiel of, you know, You'll be in the corner down here. <laughs> in the bottom right corner. You all know what to do. Alright. Let me get... Oh. And yes, I know the hallway looks awkward, but you know what? I really don't give a crap. I was going to make this purple narrow room a library but I might make it into another bedroom by doing this number let me do this tool I will never use this tool for obvious reasons there's just no point 
I mean, I guess for water it makes sense, but that's honestly it. Like, that's honestly all you need it for is water. So they can just remove it. I don't care. So I'm gonna do. No, not that. Yes. Okay. Do that number. Do this. And then do this whole shebang. I'm gonna remove those. So those the staple items will get moved. It's not a big deal. I can move them somewhere else. I don't mind. But I want a third bedroom. The question is, where do I put it? Well, I kind of know where to put it already. It's going to be a fairly good size one. Which, I mean, maybe not as big as, you know, the other ones. But it's going to be fairly good sized. I mean, this is... These are honestly too big for bedrooms. This is the right size for one. But this is honestly too big, in my opinion. Because what else can I put in there besides, well... This stuff. This is the perfect size for a bedroom. Honestly, honestly, I could go smaller. I could honestly, like... I could honestly just do that. And then have this be the bedroom. But... That's just my opinion. And then for the master bedroom, I don't need it to be this big. I can have it be this big instead my opinion but I'm making them bigger for you know walking space and everything else because there, you know it's a video game you have to have space to walk around in so you can't just have you know and have no space to walk around in it wouldn't make sense but it's just my opinion and how big I would do it if I wasn't going for the the size of the game that I want to go for. And that is a shit ton of NPCs <laughs> in every map. So, but, you know. So this can be another bedroom. They can utilize this bathroom. They won't have, well, they have a closet. I could, I could expand it more. I could. Question is how far? I could have this hallway going to here. I could have it. Do this. Close this off. And then have this go into here. And then expand it. Oh, if you're new to my channel and you're wondering how I am um, copying the textures without going over to here. Right click. I could do this. Actually, that kind of makes sense. I like that better, actually. Yeah. That looks actually pretty decent. I can then actually open up. I, I was thinking of doing this. But if I want them to utilize this bathroom. Hmm. This could be the master bedroom. It'd be an odd layout. But it could be the master bedroom. It 
It would it would be a a stupid layout. An unheard of layout, yes. But it might work. It'd be a small bedroom, but honestly, who cares? I can remove the storage, change that into the into, into the bathroom. And then there's the yeah, there's the master bedroom. It's a dumb layout, but I like it. Oh man. And honestly, not every apartment needs a storage. I can just throw the storage in the kitchen itself. Like, I don't need a separate room for storage. It's such a dumbass layout, though. It makes no sense, but I love it. It's such a stupid layout, like, oh man. It's so unheard of. But again, I'm thinking that it's unheard of in real life. In a video game setting, Hmm. I mean, it, it works. But it's stupid. It works, but it's freaking stupid as hell. And I love it. And who cares about the floor? The floor can stay red for all I care. Because I've used all the good flooring. <laughs> There's just not enough flooring. I'm sorry. I mean, yeah, I could use the Japanese tatami mat, but that wouldn't fit this theme. Like, at all. I love it. It's so stupid that it it makes no sense because it's so stupid having the master bedroom in the middle of the apartment complex. But it make but it it also works because it's stupid. And it works because it's a video game. If it was real life, it wouldn't work. I love it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> I love it. This is great. I'm one-handed right now. Forgive me. I must commit sins. <laughs> I must commit the ultimate sin. <laughs> Yeah, and I, honestly, it works. I love it. I can then Uncle Phil that. And Uncle Phil's done now. <laughs> I can expand the mudroom. No, actually, forget that. Hold on now. I'm curious. I'm curious. Let, let's do this. And then let's Uncle Phil do this. And then this. And then what we do, hear me out. We do half and half. So we take the fuck. I'm still on Uncle Phil. <laughs> God damn it. So we do half. God damn it. And then, and then we do half. Eh. It doesn't really work, but I want to keep it because why the hell not? It's something different. It's something different. Ah, uh, oh, actually, with this. 
If I did a checkered pattern. Okay, hear me out. The game has this. Or the program has this. It. I'm going to show you why I won't use that real quick. And you, your eyes are going to hurt. Trust me on this one. This is why I won't use this floor. If it's hurting your eyes, now you know. But could I possibly do the same thing here in this small section? I mean, or is it not worth it? Because it will take too much time. Yeah, it's not worth it. I want Uncle Phil still. That's why I wasn't doing anything. Duh. Uncle Phil doesn't drag. Which I think is dumb. I think I think if you click with Uncle Phil or the Phil bucket, I cut Uncle Phil because why not? I think if you click with the, with Uncle Phil and drag with Uncle Phil, it's sh it should fill the other rooms with what you're trying to fill to color with or whatever. That's my opinion. Because what what if what if I want to, you know, with Uncle Phil versus having to click, click, click. So send me, you know, and Uncle Phil will do its magic. But what do I know? I know nothing when it comes to how this shit works. And how, you know, maybe when they first made Uncle Phil many years ago, they had that as a thing and it didn't work out. Who knows? I have no idea. <clears throat> All right, so that is done. So you're going to here for this. This will become the new. Yeah, this will be the master bedroom and. Yeah, I like this. It's a stupid idea, but it works. So I want, and this will be for these two rooms. It'll be a two bedroom apartment versus three bedroom, or no, two bed, ha, huh, two bedroom. Oh my God, I can't speak today. A two bathroom apartment with three bedrooms. Technically one, because master bedroom is not open for public use. So, my opinion, only one bathroom. But what do I know? What do I know? So, this one, I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to grab this texture over here and fill. Uncle Phil's had his use now. Okay, that's fine. I don't mind at all. Might eat him again though, you never know. And actually, I wonder. Same size? Oh. It is. It is. Okay, hold on now. It's the same size. Same layout. We're sold. Saves time. Okay, we get, mm, it's not, we got to move stuff around. That's fine though. I can work with that. So that's not going to work. Was this no big deal? I don't mind, but hear me out <laughs> on this one. Oh, wrong title. Well then, Uncle Phil, we need you again. Oh yeah, I gotta actually do an actual save because saving in this program is not save. And this is why. Watch this. For those of you who are new, I saved. But yeah, I can undo. 
explain that one to me. I saved something. So therefore, I shouldn't be able to undo it. Correct? I mean, that's my opinion. If I save something, I shouldn't be allowed to undo it. So to prevent me from undoing something after I hit save, I switch maps because that forces the program to actually save my changes since it doesn't actually save. It saves to the thumb drive or SSD or whatever you're using, but the program itself does not actually save your changes. So those of you who are getting into RPG Maker because of my series, heads up. That is one of the massive bugs that has been in the program since day one. And they have not fixed it. At all. Don't know why they won't fix it. But they but they haven't. I mean makes no sense on why they have not fixed it. It could, I don't know, who knows. With, with, this, with how often they update the program, since, well, they do like two updates a year for it. <laughs> if, if only one. So, I mean, yeah. And now that they're working on new projects, this may never get any more updates at all. So, you know. And if you bought the um, one that was made within Unity, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for your choices. Not because it's a bad program, because of Unity. I'm sorry for your choices. I really am. Because Unity sucks. Any game made within Unity is complete dog shit. Okay, I'm not, not complete dog shit. It has bugs out the ass that makes them dog shit. Worse than Skyrim. <laughs> and I'm sticking to it. Mm, you can say I'm wrong all you want. I don't care. You can say I'm wrong all you want to. I, I don't care. But... Unity is a shit engine. <laughs> I don't care. I have played my fair share of games made with Unity. Two, as far as I know. And they were buggy as sh Nikes. I wanted to pound my head in the wall until I couldn't breathe anymore. Because that's how buggy they were. However, Skyrim, yes, it's a buggy mess. But I didn't want to pound my head into the wall until I couldn't breathe anymore. Because it's Skyrim. It's a much better game than what I've played for, you know, Unity based games. Which is pretty sad. Because. You know, reasons. Um, the toy is not going to work here. However, it will work. Actually, no, I need to redo all of this because I can redo. Yeah, I can do this over here. Make it a bit. No, I, that's not going to work either. I'll have to. I need to. Okay, you know what? Let, let's do this. I'll just do this. Um, yes, there we go. Grab this. Oh yeah, I forgot it makes a rattle whenever it's running. 
It makes me think my computer is making it, but no! I, mean, I kind of want you to go around here as well. Mm. Sorry, I had a straw in my mouth. I'm drinking some soda pop from Sonic. And it tastes like crap. So if you're a fan of Sonic, I'm sorry, but my local Sonic sucks big fat freaking donkey doo doo. I prefer Culver's. <laughs> Culver's is basically my town's Burger King, but on steroids in a good way. <laughs> And I do love some Burger King, but Culver's is way better. And no, I'm not sponsored. <laughs> Maybe one day. <laughs> and no, I don't want free food. <laughs> I'll take coupons. <laughs> I do not mind giving Culver's my money. <laughs> okay, so now I need a toilet. Oh, I forgot to put something important in here. Oh, son of a bitch. Hi, kitty. Hi, buddy. I heard you eating food. Hope you don't get sick today. You know some of your butt? Okay. <laughs> what are you doing, bud? You want your boxes back? Okay, hold on, buddy. I'll get your boxes back for you. I'll get your boxes back for you, bud, okay? What else in here? Oh, okay. Some, some trash. I want you to get out of for dinner. I mean, after dinner. And then you want your boxes back for you sleep in? There you go, buddy. Want them back to sleep in, buddy? There you go. There you go, bud. It's two boxes on top of each other. There you go, buddy. Yeah, there you go. Good boy. I think I spilled my cat too much. <laughs> but honestly, as long as he's happy and he's not causing a holy terror mess, I don't mind giving him boxes to sleep in. He has two of them right now that he's in. And he's just laying there being a good boy. Came home and gave him some treats. Some catnip flavored breath mints. And those make him happy. Ugh. Every time I come inside from checking a mailbox or our neighbor's place, he's just right there wanting pets. He's very affectionate, quieter than a dog. Sorry, dog lovers, but I'm not fond of dogs because they bark for no fucking reason. <coughs> he sits in a box. Dogs don't. I mean... He's a win-win in my opinion. I can't complain. Oh yeah, I gotta actually save because reasons. Don't tear the boxes up, okay buddy? If you tear them up, you won't have them anymore. And then the 
toilet can be over here. Bud, what are you doing over there? Don't tear things up, okay? Bud. Hey. Hey. Don't tear it up, okay, bud? We won't get any treats Thursday. Good boy. Hey, if you tear it up, you get no treats Thursday. Okay. No treats Thursday. He has spoken. Oh, I fucked up. I want to redo this one actually. I don't, I don't like it. And that does not need to be that tall. No, it kind of does, actually. There we go. I cut down too much mistakes were made, but whatever. Yeah, I want to go ahead and redo that one I did earlier today because it looks like crap. And I don't like it. I want to do this what I normally do because I can and I want to. It looks better than what I had before. So, yes. Take this, do this, and then you come over to here, grab my toilet, and put it there. All right, so that is done. I know there's a bunch of empty space here, but again, room to walk in. <coughs> in case, you know, because there's, there's going to be NPCs doing random routes. So. Oh, um. Also. If you are new to RPG Maker. A very unfortunate thing with the NPCs. Random. Do you want to use this for random movement? Not anything in here for it. I mean, you could. You could do custom, but they would do what you preset in this menu, which you can still access over here, which is right here. But you want to do random. And you want to do, I believe it's this one, and then highest. No. You, you want to do highest frequency, because if you don't, they will literally walk like they are robots. And I will show you what I mean by that. They will they will do a stop go movement like you'll see. So normal speed, apply, and then player and then this. See what I mean? They just, they stop moving. So what you want to do instead is you want frequency on the highest, save it, and then do this, and then that fixes it. If it's any lower than the highest, It does that. So you want to use highest. Not anything lower than that. Because of this. It's unfortunate. It's been in the program since I first started using RPG Maker with RPG Maker XP. And yeah. Even with JavaScript, it's still a thing. Unfortunate, but... Just a heads up for those who are getting into RPG Maker, thanks to my content. So, yeah. 
a quick little tutorial, I guess, you know, for eventing NPCs. And that way it saves you from having to look up how to fix that as well. So, yes, <laughs> there you go. Um, this is what it looks like on the slowest mode as well. Oh, and of, oh, so it still does that. I just didn't realize, okay. Oh, they, okay, because it's on the highest speed. They don't, it doesn't, oh. So it's still slowing down or stopping. But it doesn't show it when it's a higher speed. Okay, so that's the high, that's higher. This is highest, and if I do this, then he won't stop anywhere at all. <clears throat> yeah, see, he doesn't stop anywhere at all. He just keeps going, and that's and that's randomized. I'm not controlling him at all. The game is making him move on his own, or the AI. No, JavaScript is doing this. So yeah, and that's, that's eight times slower by the way, and this is four times slower. <coughs> Reload the game. <coughs> I mean it's faster, but it's still, you know, two times slower, which it's noticeable. We know the game. And I think... I think the player is walking at two times speed. I think... Uh, movement route player. Do this and then let's see what this speed is for the player. Yeah, so it's the same speed. Which I... Oh yeah, and there's also dashing. Which... Hold on now. Now there's not. Screw you, speedrunners. Oh, hold on. Oh, I think I know why. Um, it's somewhere in here, I think. Why am I able to dash for it if I have it turned off? That's weird. Makes no sense. Uh, 
Okay, so I guess doing F5 did not actually refresh that part. That's weird. Because now I cannot... Now I cannot dash. That is weird. Huh. Very weird. It didn't... Oh yeah, I gotta do it over here too, huh? Huh, <laughs> what? No, not that one. Oh yeah, I did. <laughs> Screw you, speedrunners. All right. Yeah, so that's just like a quick tutorial on, you know, or how to resolve that silly issue that's been in the program since, you know, like four, four versions ago, basically. So, yeah, for those of you who are new to using this program and it's, you know, glory issues, one of the major issues it has. Unfortunately, just to, you know, how to get around it. Uh, door here. <clears throat> oh yeah, another issue, if you are getting into RPG Maker, when you do um, start testing your game. Oops, I copied that texture. I want to show you something else real quick. For those of you who are new, watch everything speed up. I'm pressing and holding the action button or for keyboard Z, console controls, which are implemented in RPG Maker natively. I don't know what button it is, but I'm going to say X for PS5 or A for Xbox, or whatever Steam's button is, I have no idea. But that's what happens whenever you press and hold the button down. I don't like that. You will have to go in to the JavaScript code and find a way to fix that. And yes, it is unfortunate that has been a massive issue with the program since I started with VX Ace, since you know coding was introduced with VX and VX Ace, it is most unfortunate, but it is what it is. I need to actually remove you with VX Ace's coding. I can fix it with javascript it is harder to do i have done it before but trying to tell you how to do it, it it's not easy not easy you basically have basically um my advice is get vx ace fix it in vx ace first and then Try to mimic that for MZ. That's my advice. And it's it's something to do with the um the window screen you see for the text. And it's something to do with like window message and something else along those lines. So if you do get VX Ace to try to fix it uh, for an easier process to fix it for those who have no idea how to code you want to look under like a window message and something similar to that in VX Ace and you want to change like a certain statement from like true to false and it's you know try to change certain things with like the window message or whatever it is of true and false and try to fix it until you finally get it to work. Or you can probably write your own coding to fix it yourself, but I you know, I I digress. I found it easier just to change statements and I fix it away. Because it's easier for me to do that. <clears throat> Alright. 
I'm gonna decorate this one. I need to put some freaking, yeah, I need to put that stuff down. Why not? It won't hurt at all. I might as well. Do I want this in here? I might as well. It won't hurt, honestly. You're better than the potted plants. What? Okay, another. VX Ace had better interior plants to work with. Was it sad? But for the sci-fi plants, they have like little trees, which is just freaking hilarious. I know I'm going on like side tangents here and whatnot, but personally, I don't care. I think it's this one. No, it's this one. No. Uh, no. Yeah. Like, this is the sci-fi, or the modern day, like what we have nowadays, or close to it. Look at, look at these freaking trees, dude. These plants. Like. Like, what the frick? And all the medieval one has is just these stinky little things. Like, what the frick, dude? VX Aces were so much better than these pieces of crap. Like, come on. Oh, um, another side note for those of you who are new to MZ. I strongly suggest you buy VX Ace. Strongly suggest it. This is why. VX Ace comes with fully colored icons for items, armor, weapons, and yes, you can use stuff from older programs, as long as you own the program. I own VX Ace. MZ's icon set is complete dog shit. VX Ace's is so much better. Oh my god. So if you own MZ and you're looking at the icon set I have now compared to MZ's, that's why I'm using VX Aces because MZ's is complete dog shit. I refuse to use it. Because it's like they thought about doing the icon set like last minute. And I do mean like crunch time last minute like last day and they didn't color them in at all and you only have like from here from like zero over to like not even not even that much like you don't have any of this down here at all so i suggest you buy well actually no i recommend you buy vx ace just for this alone and for the um, enemies too. You can actually use the enemies that are in VX Ace and MZ. Because again, as long as you own MZ or VX Ace, you can use them in MZ. Legally, you can. As long as you own it, you can. Because <coughs> they're compatible. So legally, you can use them because they're compatible. The title says, however, I've tried and since um, the title sets use JavaScript files as well for MZ, good luck getting VX Aces to work. I've tried and it didn't work. <laughs> Unfortunately. I wish I could though. But for some reason, this one that I ripped from the internet works just fine. Don't know why, but it does. All right, so I need to re-add the staple items. Where do I want to put those at? Maybe up here. 
or down here? I could put them down there. My tongue is growling. I'm going to finish this before I do anything else, though, because for reasons. I just got three more things to do. Well, I got a, I got a, a, quite a bit more to do, but... Eh. No, currently I could eat while recording, but I find it disrespectful to eat while recording or streaming. My opinion. So, yeah. I will do what I can to not eat while recording. And if Lord forbid, NVIDIA re-adds the live stream function back, and if I get another headset and a new desk, I will do that again. But with the new NVIDIA app that is gone, unfortunately, Maybe they'll re-add it. If not, not a big deal. I did enjoy doing that, however. But for me, recording is easier. Because I can just sit back, relax, and just play games. And in doing this, I can just... I don't mind recording this. You know? Yeah, my internet speed for upload sucks. It's only 40 megs. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. Here in a few months or maybe a year, I should have fiber. Hopefully. I signed up for it three times. So, I should get it. I made sure I get, I'm going to get it. <laughs> I signed up for it three times. Just to make sure. <laughs> so, yeah. Hopefully I'll get it soon. And then I'll have... um synchronized speeds and not asynchronized speeds and I think it should be illegal for companies to do asynchronous speeds my opinion but whatever because right now I'm paying 145 bucks for just internet and nothing else no TV no phone just internet and with the new internet I'll be paying like a hundred bucks for one gig for both speeds. <laughs> right now I'm paying 145 for 440. <laughs> I'm getting screwed. <laughs> it's all I have. Granted, there is Starlink, there is um, HughesNet, and there is DSL. <laughs> but no. I'd rather have what I have now until something better comes. So, yeah. All right, so I'm going to keep this the same carpet because I don't want to have to, you know, whateverness on that crap. Take this off, um, put you here, put you there. Honestly, you know what? Just do some more minor decor stuff, and then we'll move on to that. Because if I don't do it now, I'll forget. And actually, I might do... I mean, that kind of works, but then again, not... I might have to go through and like double my doorways. Who knows? In case NPCs get stuck in the loop. Because, you know, randomized NPCs. <laughs> Random movement tends to do the same movement over and over again. So in case they get stuck in the doorway, I might have to make the doorways bigger. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, I need to do more decoring for sure. Um, I 
And yes, I know the paintings look the same. I've said this before, I know. But the cool thing is, I can make them... I can make text look like whatever the frick I want the painting to be. So if I want it to be... Even if it looks like a man or whatever, I can say this painting represents a mountain with a woman in front of it. Even though the painting represents in the game something else. That's the beauty behind it. I can make the, one of the paintings be a freaking quest item if I wanted to. That's the beauty behind it. Like, there's so much I can do with this program, and it is wonderful. I love it. Like, I have not even scratched the surface with what I can do while making my own game. I've done some of it, but none of it compares to what is possible. And I'm looking forward to it. Okay, let's see here. Do I want to put a heat source in here? I mean, not really. I could, but I don't really need to. I might put another painting in here, though. And again, I know the paintings all look the same. But it's what I have. If you don't like it, you got to deal with it. Cool feature I would love to see for RPG Maker would be a um, tile set generator built into the program. An icon generator as well. Um, a monster generator because they have this for us to utilize. Why not have the same thing for everything else? It would make sense. It totally would. Why not? I, I mean, I would use it. Being able to make random goofy looking monsters for enemies. Oh, hell yeah. I would totally go for that. And I do mean goofy. Please. I would love to see that happen. I really would. What do I want to put in here? Besides more, you know, floral nonsense. I could put some statues. For lore reasons, maybe. question is, people would question how they got the statues in the first place. Or how they got them up the stairs. Or... Now, you know what? But, no. It's an apartment complex, where it doesn't need to be well. I mean, it depends if I want it to be a guard's apartment or not, so maybe... But there's weapons out there, and there's weapons on the walls, too. So, I mean, I don't really need weapons like that in a permanent complex. There's weapons everywhere. I mean, granted, they might be fake or might be real. Who the heck knows? Um... Yes, stomach. I know you're hungry. Shut the frick up. I will feed you in about 30 minutes or so. Just gotta wait. Here, have some more alcohol. I mean, soda pop. The cheap beer. The only soda pop, I mean, only beer that should be legal, in my opinion.
Hmm. I could just leave it as is and have it be open. And I might, and I might do that. Goto Carbonation. Yeah, I might leave it open for room to walk around in. In case a bunch of, well, I don't know if I can make NPCs open the door on their own. Without using events. I wonder, hold on. Action button. Player touch is obvious. Event touch. When the event touches the player. Yeah, so there's no way to make a door open when an event touches another event. Unfortunate. Unless I can do it in here somewhere in the contents. But for triggers, there's no way. And I think where the triggers are is what I would need for that to work. So... Eh. So that kind of limits me on what I can and cannot do. But... Is it a big deal? I mean, not really. I can still do my... For now, I can still do my... Huge amount of NPCs per map. But without them being able to open doors, I may not use doors everywhere because of that. I might have this be a semi-open concept with no doors. I mean, it's not open concept like you would think because there's walls everywhere. But semi-open concept means there's no doors anywhere. I was going to do a door here. I'll do one here, of course, but I was going to do one here as well, because this is a mudroom, so having one here would make sense. I m might do one here, but again, I may not, because if NPCs cannot open doors, if I want them to go in here on their own, I kind of can't have a door here anymore. Same for here. I kind of can't have a door here either. So... It's, it will limit me on what I can do, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. I mean, hmm. I mean, I could also do parallel events that might work but who knows we'll see we will see I don't want any uh, okay so let's get back to this finally I know I said it earlier and I'm putting it off because you know talking points and whatnot they happen they do happen unfortunately I'm gonna go ahead and do this temporarily because you know I can same for here temporarily because I can it makes me it will hopefully make me remember that hey this is a table in the future 
and I need to put stuff there, be it events or just static foods or whatever. I because right now putting food on a table makes no sense when there's nothing in the game yet to make the food have a purpose. You know what I mean? There's no NPCs in the game yet, so having food there makes no sense. But having plates as a placeholder, in my opinion, makes sense. Because plates always have a purpose, no matter where they're at. So... Especially in a kitchen setting, like they're laid out for food, waiting to be set or waiting to be dressed with food. And the same for out here. They're out playing, you know, waiting for food to be put on them. So. I think that room is good. The bathroom could use some more decor. Let's do this one instead. Yeah. Let's do that one there, this one here. And then I think that's good for now. And then this bathroom. One here, one over here. One right here, one over to here, maybe one right there, maybe one, eh, that's good enough. Now for more paintings and all that fun stuff, um, yeah, alright. More paintings, yay, paintings, I love paintings, they're so fun to look at. Uh, crap, I'm with the wrong tool. Wish there was a hotkey I could press. Actually, I wonder. Oh, well, that's, that's the help button. Okay. F5 is to refresh the play test. Okay, so F5 and F6 does this. F5 is is map mode. F6 is event mode. F9 is that. Okay. F10. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm not going to remember any of that crap. But there's none for these ones up here. Which is unfortunate. I know this. Hold on. Yep. There's... There's none. Lame. Bull crappery. Why not? Why isn't there any freaking hotkeys? We're so nice, man. Come on now. <coughs> I wish there was, but maybe there is. I just don't know. Who knows? Who knows, man? Who knows? Yeah, I'll put a freaking world map in there that may or may not be the world map. It could be a painting for all I know. I haven't decided yet. I'm not that far. You know, I could do AI generated art for the paintings. Should I do that though? Hmm. Nah. Probably not. Probably not. I mean, I could. Might make some hilarious looking shit though, but none of it would be, you know, what I want for what I'm doing. And you got the hand issue too. Oh yeah, never mind then. Oh lord. 
Never mind. No, you don't go there. I mean, granted, you could do that, but this makes more sense. Is there one in here? Yes. Is there one in here? No. Over here? Perfect. So, the hallway is decorated best as it can get. I could end more paintings, however, because I'm, I'm going to. There we go, and then that one. Let's do right over here somewhere. Yeah, like right there. Yeah. And then take this big old long piece and put it there. Perfect. Paintings. Uh, we need some more floral nonsense, so let's take this piece. Wrong flooring though. Because lo and behold, we want the wrong flooring. That'd be bad. Uh, let's just do one like right here. No, actually, let's just do one like right here. Because why not? And then I think that's enough decor. Now we can do the bedrooms. Hell yeah, dude. So... We need a closet. We need a closet. Save the program. Both times. One to the thumb drive and one to force the program to actually save. <laughs> My cat sleeping. He's a good kitty. He used to be in one of his multiple, multiple boxes. Ugh. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see, we need this tool. I want to do a closet. Right there. So closet, bathroom. I'll keep the flooring for the closet. Not a big deal. I could expand the closet, but there's really no need. It's big enough as it is now. And basically what I want to do is I want to do this. Son of a bitch. Done. I mean, yeah, I could place things randomly in here, but do I have to? No, not really. I can fix it later. Who cares? <laughs> it saves time. And I'm getting hungry, so. <sniffs> Bite me. I don't care. Alright, so. Bed, bed. Um, what else called? Um, uh, we got a bed. We got uh, what are they called? Nice dance. Yes, and I put them one space away because you get in the bed up top, not down here. So that's why I put them one space away. Now, granted. I could move the bed down one space and then have them up here, but eh, it is what it is. Now I kind of want a bookshelf in here too. I want this right here. The mirrors there. I want an area for the misses to have makeup because women look beautiful 
with or without makeup, my personal opinion, without, until they get to where they have wrinkles, and then they can, if they want to, wear makeup. It's their choice, though. If you don't have wrinkles on your face, you don't need it. Just saying. I'm that kind of person. I forgot to do one thing over here. Grab this. What else? I need, I said, the makeup thing, which is here. It can go right here. And then I need a table, a table done. Oh, wrong texture, son of a bitch. Done. And I wanted to be lazy too, but no. Uh, makeup table and jewelry table and then the master bedroom is done. I Don't know what else to put in here. I really don't I Got no idea what else to put in here. I mean I Have I have no idea. I mean I guess I could put this in here. There's no windows because it's an apartment complex Putting windows down here makes no sense at least to me, I can put some paintings in here, but it's like for the middle floor, I got no idea. If there was like crumpled up clothes or like clothes that were already worn, oh, I would scatter those everywhere. I would scatter them. I, I would just, you know, do that. But there's not. It's unfortunate. See, I want some paintings. Some paintings, please. Yes. No. Yes. And then maybe one more. Like right there. And then that's done now. Two more to go. And actually, I wonder. <laughs> Save some time. Whoops. I mean, it works. It works. I ain't complaining. I ain't gonna complain on this one. I'm not going to complain. <laughs> it actually works. Alright, so now I need to take. That's not what. That's something else. You don't go there. <laughs> that would be hilarious though if it did. But you don't go there. Alright, so all of that is now fixed. 
take a bed, put it here, grab this, put it there, and that will be for Now we need a closet. And see, I have all this extra room, and I have no idea what to put in here. So I guess I'll make this. Well, we have a desk. Did I put, I did not actually. Oh, wait a minute, no. There we go. Leave room for, you know, space, elbow room. Nice. Well, yeah. But I do that as well. I can do this. I can actually cut that part off. I'll leave that blink for now. I can put a bookshelf like, I can put a bigger bookshelf right here. Take. all of this stuff again and just put it in there and that one's done I guess I don't really know what else to put in here I really don't I mean I guess I could make it a kids room so, there we go. And then same for over here, give me a kid's room as well. So, there we go. Okay. Last one for now. And these may not be kid's rooms. It's just what I have for now. But I have honestly no idea what else to put in these rooms. So they are going to have a ton of space in them. It is unfortunate. But, it, you know, I could, I guess, I mean, I guess I could put bathrooms in all of them. But that would make no sense to me. So <clears throat> I really don't want to do that because it would make no sense. Yeah, and I may not make it a kids room because it has weapons in it, but the weapons could be fake weapons. You never know. It needs a closet. Put that there, it needs a bed. 
And I guess the table as well, and it's doing it's good. So a table. A bed with that. And I think that's it. Now, I mean, yes, the, these two rooms look barren. Same for this one right here. But I really don't know what else to put in here. Like, yeah, I guess I could put bathrooms in all of them. But I don't want to do that. I could put more bookshelves in there, but... I don't want to do that. And there's nothing over here that I want to put in these rooms. Same for over here. There's really nothing. And there's nothing over here either that I want to put in here. So... Yeah. I honestly... I. I don't know what else I can add. In those rooms. I got nothing. <laughs> and it's unfortunate, but it's true. But anyways. Now that we're done with this. Now we do the fun part. We copy and pasta all of it. Yeah, I like how that looks a lot better. Yeah, that looks way better. And the changes are final. All right, with that, I am going to put a cut in the video here, get some food, I will set this video up for upload, and then I will release it tomorrow. Well, the 23rd. But yeah, have a wonderful day. And if you enjoyed the video, you know all I know what to do. And yeah, I will see you guys next time.